The Amazon is home to millions of strange species, most of them still even undescribed, and many remain unknown deep in the impenetrable rainforest. For years it has provided the world with the most unusual wildlife. It is one of Earth's last refuges for many species that cannot be found anyway in the world like jaguars, harpy eagles and home to thousands of birds and butterflies. From tree-dwelling species to land, then to water these are the strangest creatures that can be found in Amazon. But before we jump into number 1, be sure that you have subscribed and hit the bell icon to keep yourself informed with amazing videos. With that said let's jump into our incredible list. Dead Whale. It was a curiosity that drew worldwide attention when an 8 meter long dead whale was found at the edge of the jungle, located some 15 meters off the ocean shore, and close to the Amazon River mouth on February 2019. This is definitely a mystery, because no one, not even expert biologists, knows how this humongous marine creature got in the forest, out of its natural element, with no wounds seen anywhere on its body, there were few clues to explain how this creature ended up so far from the water. But there are theories, with some implying that the whale was previously killed by consumption of plastic waste, and was then transported by heavy storms from the beach right into the heart of the jungle, others believe that it was floating close to the shore, only to be thrown inland by the strong tides, which slowly killed it. Then again, these are just theories that suffer from lack of evidence, so, like I said, nobody knows how that whale showed up in the Amazon rainforest. Goliath Bird Eater Spider-Man may be the biggest moving spider in the world. But not the biggest in Amazon. Amazon is home to a number of strange creatures. As you're looking at the Amazon tall rainforest from different angles, you will be able to get acquainted with some of the most incredible creatures from this area. And the most common will be Goliath bird eater. As you may have guessed from its name, it's a spider so huge that it can eat birds. In fact, it's the heaviest spider in the world. With a body length of 30 centimeters and a weight of 170 grams, it makes almost every other spider look tiny. The spider is terrestrial, living in deep burrows, and is found commonly in marshy or swampy areas. It is a nocturnal species and very dangerous to its prey. Luckily for us, it's not dangerous to humans. However, if you touch its prickly hair which it can shed when you approached it, can cause you irritation that can last for days. Victoria Amazonica. One thing you should know about the Amazon rainforest is that it is home to the biggest creatures in the world. These water lilies are so big that they can hold a weight of a grown-up human being. The leaves can have a diameter of up to 3 meters in diameter. If that alone is not enough, the Victoria Amazonica flowers only take 48 hours to fully bloom. The flowers are white the first night they are open and become pink the second night. They are up to 40 centimeters in diameter as we said that it can hold a fully grown-up human. But be careful if you decide to step on it. Its leaves have thorns which protect this unique flower from predators. Vampire fish. There is always that distinctive feature that we look for when we talk about vampires. With debates going on if real vampires exist. I think we found one. But not in humans. The vampire fish also known as the payara, is a vampire fish for a good reason. It has a huge mouth studded with fangs that can reach up to 6 inches long, and researchers believe they can grow to almost 4 feet in length and 20 kilograms in weight. The good thing about this is that they fear humans, they pose no threat to humans. Those fangs are exclusively used to impale smaller fish. Jesus Lizard These creatures are more often called basilisks than Jesus lizards, but the latter suits them greatly due to their incredible ability to run on water. They use this ability, when hunting to catch a meal, or in case of danger, when they need to run from predators. In such situations, they open their toes revealing a special webbing which they use to run on water. Basilisks live near lakes, ponds or rivers and in general, they're very interesting creatures to observe. Electric eels. Many movies have shown people with various abilities and some were just mysteries. Then meet this fish. Though it's commonly known as the electric eel, this fearsome creature is actually a knife fish. The electric eel has an elongated cylindrical body, typically growing to about 2 meters in length and 20 kilograms in weight. Their coloration is dark gray-brown on the back and yellow or orange on the belly. Mature females have a darker color on the abdomen. And they have no scales. Due to its distinctive physiology, it is capable of producing electricity from its organs. 
This electric shock can reach intensities of up to 860 volts for several milliseconds. While this can kill you, it can deliver as much pain as a stun gun and cause a numbing sensation. And this eel can grow up to 8 feet long. It's definitely not an animal you would want to come across. The Boiling River there is a river in the heart of the Peruvian Amazon that kills everything that falls into it. Weirdest of all, scientists aren't really sure why it's so hot. The river, located in a forested region called Mayantayacu, surges at 200 degrees Fahrenheit and stretches 4 miles long. The fact it's not attached to an active volcano or a magmatic system makes it all the more unusual. Walking Palm if you watch Tolkien's Lord of the Rings trilogy, then you surely remember huge tree-like creatures called Ents. Guess what, they're more real than Gandalf. While they don't look and act exactly like it was shown in the movie, they can walk. But speed of their movement is tremendously slow because these trees move due to new roots growing towards sunlight and replacing the old roots. Imagine how much time it takes them to walk one meter. These trees are known as walking palms or cachapona, if you spot them in the forest, please don't wait until you see them move. Perhaps if you can wait for a long time. Pink Dolphin. This is one of the most incredible Amazon River residents. Pink dolphins can grow larger than humans, and there's an interesting legend about them, which suggests that these dolphins can transform into handsome men in the evening. Then they hypnotize and seduce young women and turn into dolphins again closer to the sunrise. We don't know if this is true. But in regards to their skin color, scientists are still not sure why it's pink. They suppose that it happens due to blood capillaries near their skin's surface. Leaf Mimic Catadid Insect. Amazon is home of dangerous animals, so safety is paramount, you have to stay alive in any way you can. For the smallest animals, the best protection they can possibly have is some form of camouflage. The Leaf Mimic Catadid, they have managed to find an amazing way to avoid predators. They can look exactly like a leaf. So much so, they're almost an exact copy of one that can be hard for anyone to spot. The latter part of their name, catadid, comes from the noise that they make while rubbing their legs together. They are actually used by some natives as a measure of temperature too. Their stridulation is conditioned by the temperature around them, so you can count up the catadids to see the temperature. Of course, this is only for the Fahrenheit scale of measurement. Jumping stick. Now let's take a look at another expert in camouflage from the Amazonian. As you may have already guessed from its name and look, this little guy is proficient in looking like a branch or a stick. Another reason is that he can kick and jump just like a kung fu master. This elongated odd face with large eyes and grasshopper-like mouth looks very intelligent and wise. Although jumping stick may resemble a giant walking stick insect, it's more closely related to the locust. The Lost City of Giants. Deep in the Ecuadorian jungle, a lost city was discovered in 2012. However, it certainly wasn't any normal ancient city. A group of explorers were accompanied by a number of natives who were familiar with the area and strongly believed that the city existed. And it was true it did exist. The explorers found a set of massive structures, the largest being a 79-meter tall by 79-meter wide pyramid of unusual shape. At the top of the pyramid was a flat, polished stone, believed to have been a sacrificial altar. The magnitude of these buildings is what gives the city its name and leads many archaeologists to believe that the city was indeed built and inhabited by giants, although many others are skeptical on that point. What makes this discovery even more peculiar is not just the buildings themselves, but also the tools and artifacts found there. Many oversized, manufactured tools were said to have been discovered, allegedly so big that it would be impossible for humans to use them. The team that discovered the city believes that the tools are a crucial piece of evidence that in the distant past, giants once walked the earth. As always, thank you for watching, don't forget to subscribe. And to watch more videos, by tapping the videos above.